Good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing today? I'm fine, I'm fine. thanks. I'm fine. Terrific. How was your day? Did you have a good day? Heavy. Heavy? Yeah. A heavy day. Oh, what a heavy do? day. I teach class. Oh, you're a teacher. Yes, <laughs> a teacher's job is heavy. <laughs> but it's really, really rewarding. Yes. It's, it's, uh, Lo compensa. <laughs> Coach. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Coach. Uh, there is someone asking for the link. I'm going Coach. to paste it here. Maybe I, I did. <laughs> Can someone send the link to the WhatsApp group? I wasn't able to. All right. Um, well, uh, so um, I'm happy to have you here. We are uh, talking about how was your day, but um, how do you, do you normally spend your days? How do you normally spend your days? I uh, wake party up every day. Five thirty. Yes. Okay. And yeah. Either I, you study every day. Uh huh. And I do exercise um, every day at the morning at the at seven o'clock. Then uh, do the homework. And that's, that's all. It. That's Thank all. Okay, much. excellent. <laughs> Anybody else who would like to participate, you can raise your hand and share with us what how do you normally spend your days? Normally. I normally walking, working, and walking. <laughs> Hi, work and work. <laughs> Coach, can you hear me? Yeah, hear you. Okay, okay. It, it is new the microphone. Uh -huh. A new microphone. Okay. Yes. And how do you normally spend your day? Um, I spend my day. I'm normally practice exercise. Yeah, it's my favorite hobby. Excellent. Okay, Thank good. You. And the um, rest of you? My new day, my, my day is uh, normally uh, in the morning, uh, prepare a uh, uh, eat. For, for my prepare. children, I have uh, two children, um, and I am mom. Uh, mom song tango. Uh, um, I clean my house. Uh, the only only day I <laughs> I study I study English. Uh, good evening, everybody. I'm sorry. Good evening. Good evening, good evening Sandra. I uh, watch TV and um, with my son uh, in you in your class. Help in in your class and the homework every day. <laughs> That's nice. Awesome. Cool. Somebody else would like to share. Sure. Any other volunteer? Well, I don't know. I'm sorry, I have difficult to enter to this Zoom uh, meeting. Sorry. Uh, 
Okay. Good. So, um, anybody else? Okay, so uh, this is the, the topic, um, which is the one that we are going to use to start the section number two. As you know, today we start section number two. And the first thing that we have here in the platform is a video, uh, a conversation about two people and they are talking um, and sharing um, information about how do they spend their days. Uh, let me share my screen so we can take a look to that video. Okay, it's loading. When you Okay, here we have the, the video. Let's, I'm um, going to share my audio also because if not, you're not gonna be able to hear. All right, let's take a look at the conversation, listen for pronunciation, and then we're going to ask questions about it and practice more. Where? The one, welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Right, so that was the conversation. And also you have it here in the presentation that I share with you. Let me show <laughs> Oh my God, that's so slow. Okay, here is the presentation and also you have it in the material. So let's see. Oh my God, oh, it's so, so, so slow. Let me change it by using this. Uh, obey me. Okay. How do you spend your day? This is the question that we um, were practicing at the beginning. We already watched the video about the conversation. The topic of the conversation was, where do you work? And this is the conversation that you listened on the video. Let's read it and let's scan it and tell me if you have any question about it. Questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? We're going to practice as well. Um, what is the meaning fast food? Fast comida food rápida. se refiere a lo comida rápida. Ah, like okay. Pizza, hamburgers, you can pair a chicken, so delicious. <laughs> fast <laughs> food is like comida rápida. Mm -hmm. oh, Very nice. good question. Is there any other? Oh, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Everything's right. Okay, let's practice pronunciation. Let's repeat. Where do you work, Andrea? Where do, Where you, do work, you work, Andrea? Andrea? I work at Where? Thomas Cook Travel. I, I work, work at, at Thomas, Thomas Cook Travel. Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? 
Oh, oh really? Why do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. I'm a I'm guide. guide. Yeah, I, I take I, people I, I, on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. How oh, interesting. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And what do you do? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, a great, great job. job. I really love it. What do you do? Oh, I'm a student. I have a part time job too. Oh, oh I'm, I'm a student. student. I have a part time, -time, 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 -time job too. Where do you work? Where, Where do you work? work? You work in a fast food restaurant. In, in a, a fast food, food restaurant. restaurant. Which restaurant? Which, Which restaurant? restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger, Hamburger Heaven. Heaven. All right. So I'm going to create the group section so you can practice. Uh, you have this conversation in the material and in the presentation that I sent as well. So I'm going to create the groups, take advantage and practice with your classmates. Um, Very good. Take turns, change roles. Pueden eh, practiquen lo más que puedan. No una vez o dos, pueden practicar una, cambiando roles, cambiando de compañeros, etc. You're right. Yeah, you have a good pronunciation. Let's practice it more. Okay, there you have the pop-up message. So just click on join or unirse. Okay, Roberto, estoy viendo. Está malo el inter. Trate de estar en la sección, aunque sea como oyente. Y si se desconecta, trate otra vez de conectarse. All right, that's nice, that's nice. All right, um, and Natalie, I can hear you, Natalie. Yes, hello, Natalie. <laughs> How are you? Hello. Hi, and- Oh, that's nice. Okay, who begins? Alguien tiene la conversación que la pueda compartir, please? I don't. No, I don't. Uh, well, I have got my material here because I, I am, I did the the printing. Yes, someone is sharing the present the, the conversation in the. But I'm I, I can share my screen. Uh, oh, thank you, teacher. It, it is. Thank That's you. That's it. Sir. Thank you. Okay. You. Okay, uh, Jacqueline. Okay. Yeah. Um, Where's Jason? You stand there, Alejandra. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Okay. Begin. Where do, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do here? There. Uh, I'm a guide. I'm a guide. Uh, I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And what do you do? Um, I am a student. I have a part-time job too. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Good, very nice. And now, Natalie? And just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Natalie? And you will be uh, okay. Andrea or Jason? Uh, and Jason. Jason, okay. And and you, uh, Roselli, you will be, well, you say you have the same name than me. No, Sandra Arazelli, okay. that's my name. And you <laughs> okay. are 
<laughs> right. Okay. Okay. So, uh, where do you work, work, Andrea? Oh, um, Andrea. I work on Thomas Cook for Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am great. I take a people of tours to countries and some American like Peru. How interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love, love it. And I, what do you do? Oh, I am a student. I have a part-time job too. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburg Heaven. Okay. Okay. Now I will be Andrea and, and someone of you will be Jason. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jason and Sandra. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. In, uh, oh, yes. Natalie, yes, yes. Natalie. Andrea. Ah, okay. And I will be Jason. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? Oh, I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries and South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. It is a great job. I really love him. And what do you do? Oh, I'm a student. I have a part-time job too. Where do you work? Uh, in a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. One no more chance. Tienen todavía tiempo, un minuto. Oh, but over there says sleep break. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, See you. Okay. Where, where do you work, Andrea? Where do you work, Andrea? Uh, I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do here? There. Um, I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And what do you do? Um, I am a student. I have a part-time job too. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburg on Heaven. Oh, very nice. Delicious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is an awesome job. <laughs> I always forget that I stop at the presentation and then I'm on mute. Uh, right. So um, you did a very nice job. I had the opportunity to watch uh, one of the groups and uh, they did an awesome job with pronunciation. Hicieron un trabajo asombroso con la pronunciación. So eh, me gustaría poder estar en todos los grupos, pero pues esta es un poco difícil, pero tratamos. Algún día voy a estar con todo. <laughs> so, um, oh, ojalá que ya, ya vayamos presencial. But we are doing a very nice job here. Estamos haciéndolo muy bien, muy bien así. Um, En este modo, creo que ya nos adaptamos, ¿verdad? Ya están bastante, bastante bien. Uh, so, yes. y si, y si abren presencial, nos va a tocar en la noche a este horario. Fíjese que hay horario, el más tarde que llega presencial en la academia es de 6 de la tarde a 8 de la noche. Ajá. Sí, se puede en este mismo horario, pero... No, en línea estamos bien. Sí, no siempre están en línea. Los grupos en línea se mantienen. Eh, siempre están, eh, 
Pues sí, y ya los grupos en línea existían desde antes de la pandemia, ¿verdad? Los únicos que ya no se siguieron dando fueron los de fines de semana, porque sí, eso solo, pues son, eh, son de un solo, son varias horas, entonces, este, para darlo en línea no, no, o sea, era bien difícil, pues, es tener a la gente sentada cuatro o cinco horas enfrente de la computadora. Entonces, so, eso sí no, no se pudo hacer. Eh, ya lo demás sí es lo mismo, básicamente. Lo, lo, lo que sí siento así es que como cada vez que yo me meto en un grupo, se tarda mucho Zoom en meterme y luego se tarda en sacarme a todo esto. Ya están requete aburridos de estar repitiendo y hasta se lo saben de memoria. <risa> Entonces sí, visito uno o dos grupos por sección, pero en cada grupo que he estado han estado haciendo un excelente trabajo, tienen muy buena pronunciación, tomen ventaja de la plataforma, la plataforma usted puede darle play cuantas veces quiera y repetir, solo hay palabritas que a veces este, se, nos, se nos van, ¿verdad? Y hay que pulir, para pulir ahí están, ¿verdad? Las conversaciones para que las puedan practicar las veces que sea necesario. Acuérdense que también es este... Es bien vital y esencial que vayan desarrollando los ejercicios de la plataforma. Ya entramos a la sección 2 y el tiempo va volandísimo. Ok, so, uh, voy a pasar asistencia antes que se me olvide. Ya veo que hay, la mayoría está ya acá. Eh, Teacher, no se escucha nada, mi, inter oh, yes. mi internet está súper malo. Sí, mm -hmm. te escucho a varios que What's tienen. Mean? Yes. Ah, What's the meaning of? Uh, how interesting. Que es like, ah, que interesante, how interesting. Ajá, esa expresión ah, okay. vendría a ser como cuando decimos, ah, que interesante, how interesting. Ok, vamos a ver. Uh, say present, if you are here, Adrián Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Aida Mariela. Ay, Aida María, le cambié el nombre. <ríe> Aida María está por aquí. Ok. Present. Ana Griselda. Present. Ana Yancy. Present, Present teacher. Okay. Braulio Javier. Mm -hmm. Braulio Javier. Oh, ok, Braulio no está. Cándida Janet. Present. Claudia Patricia. Claudia Patricia. A ver, Claudia Patricia. Tampoco está. Uh, Diego Arturo. Present, okay. Edwin Jaciel. I'm here. Evelyn Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Evelyn Liliana. I'm here, teacher. Evelyn Mariela. Present. Hazel Adriana. Teacher, no sé si ya me mencionó a mí. Pero la plataforma me saca a cada, a cada momento. Regáleme su nombre. Claudia Patricia Rivas. Ya la mencioné. Ahorita corrijo porque sí creo que cuando la mencioné no estaba. Ahorita ya está ahí. Gracias, Claudia. Eh, De hecho, a... por el momento ni le escucho nada. Sí. Sorry. Hazel. No está... Uh, Ismael Eliseo. I'm here, teacher. Jerry Alejandro. Present, teacher. Jorge Alberto. Teacher. Sí. No sé si ya me mencionó a mí también, pero uh, me sacaba a cada, a cada rato la plataforma. Hasta no, ahorita no, logré ingresar nuevamente. No, no lo veo porque tengo el documento enfrente. Roberto Ahora, Carlos de Paul. Roberto Carlos. Roberto Carlos. García, García de Paul. Todavía no he llegado hasta ahí, pero ya vi que ahí está. De Paul. Ok. Ah, ok. Ok, teacher, here I am. I am Jorge Julio. 
Okay, very good, Jorge. Thank you. Jose Manuel? Present. Judy Del Carmen? Present, teacher. Catherine Giselle? Present. Liliana Margarita? Present. Luisa Maria? Luisa Maria? No la, no la veo conectada, Luisa María. Entonces, no está. Uh, María Susana. Present. Marjorie Vanessa. Present. Melina Rebeca. Present. Natalia Emperatriz. Present. Roberto Carlos. Ya, ah, ya me dijo que ahí estaba Present. Sandra Araceli. Present. Tania Michel. I'm here, teacher. Vladimir Alberto. Vladimir Alberto, lo vi que estaba por ahí temprano. ¿Será que se nos cayó el internet? Present, teacher. I'm here. Ok, gracias. Jacqueline Aracelis. Present, teacher. Present, too. Thank you so much. Right, so now we can go ahead and continue with our class. Let's see. Just a question, teacher. Uh, if you have uh, the the new platform in presence in um, well, con con nosotros presentes. Entonces, y la gente que vive lejos, ¿cómo va a ser? Por ejemplo, si alguien vive en la unión o algo así. Pueden seguir en línea. El curso ah. en línea siempre está. Ah, uh -huh. oh, that's nice. Y para los que prefieran presencial, media vez se pueda regresar, pues van a abrir. Pero la, las opciones siempre están, ambas. Pero usted uh -huh. sería la coach siempre en, en línea. Es... Sí, tengo ya ratito de estar haciendo. Noche. I have a question, teacher. Sí. Uh, yes. I, eh, estaba I escuchando ahorita de clases presenciales. Sí, ahorita todavía no están, verdad. Pero primero en mente, Dios, próximamente. Okay. Uh, how do you spend your day? We have the six words. You know the meaning of words. Uh, yeah, yeah, actividad, ser, actividad. Ser peores, los peores. Peores, oh, ajá. Oh my yeah, God. The six words, hasta oh. rojo y grande. The six words jobs in the United States. Los seis That's... peores trabajos de Estados Unidos. Yes. Based, ¿en qué se basan para calificarlos así? Based on salary, stress, number of hours. Working conditions and security. We have fisherman, taxi driver, cowboy, construction worker, dancer, and lumberjack. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of lumberjack? Es un leñador o talador de árboles. Leñador. Mm -hmm. okay. That's a lumberjack. Um, based Why on dancer this, is the worst job? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe because um, we can say, ah, uh, but dancing is funny. But these yeah. people have to exercise a lot. They have yeah, to no. follow a diet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they cannot eat anything that they want to. <laughs> they follow a diet. They have to rehearse a lot, to exercise, to practice, uh, to participate in contest, maybe. So I think that, but I think it's not the worst. Maybe <laughs> for me, for me can be probably like in this place, in the third place, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think too. Uh -huh. Well, and what do you think what, for you? What are what, some of the most or the worst job in El Salvador based on those conditions, on salary, stress, number of hours, working conditions, security? 
One of them is being a teacher. Being a teacher? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, but but well, I I, I suppose in in uh, in public schools. Yes. yes. And also it, it depends on the country because in Panama, the teachers are like the best thing in the world. Hasta tienen un monumento ahí al teacher. Oh my. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, natal country. <laughs> All yeah. right. So for you as teacher, any other comment or idea? A police? Uh, yeah, it's true, the, the police. And yeah, dangerous. maybe. It's very maybe dangerous. Because, it's yeah, dangerous. Maybe because that job is very dangerous. It's dangerous. It's not really well paid, even though they are getting an increase on the salary, a salary raise. Yes. So, probably. It's, it's going to be better now. Um, any other? <laughs> the Uber driver. <laughs> yeah. Taxi driver, Uber driver. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they are... Um, uh, they are in traffic. I, I, th I think the Uber driver is the most and most worst job in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Yes. Firefighters <laughs> too. Firefighters, yes, it's dangerous. It's not like well paid. Creo que ni les pagan, son voluntarios o les pagan. Volunteers. Les pagan. All right. Yeah. Okay. Any other? I think uh, the, I think uh, the fireman is is, is uh, four hundred, uh, and now it's going it to five hundred. I think so. Okay, they are improving. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah. Bodyguard too. A bodyguard. bodyguard. Uh, I I think we 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 got the other way <laughs> right now. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on. Okay. And uh, we have a. This is in your material. It's a. It's an exercise in which you have to complete the word map with jobs from the list. Let's practice pronunciation and read the list. Cashier. Cashier. Chef. Cashier. Chef. Company director. Company, Company director. Company director. Dancer. 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 Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Musician. 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 Pilot. 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 Receptionist. Receptionist. Server. There, there, singer, singer, tour guide, tour guide, website designer, website designer. One more time, let's repeat. Ah, cashier, cashier, chef, chef, company director, company director, dancer, dancer, flight attendant, flight attendant, musician. Musician. Pilot. 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 Receptionist. Receptionist. Server. Server. Singer. Singer. Tour guide. Tour guide. Website designer. Website designer. Okay, so uh, in this you have to classify the in these categories office work, travel industry food service, yes. entertainment, mm -hmm. business. Okay. Yeah. Actual industry. Okay. Let's okay. Um, so, for example, we have cashier. cashier. Food cashier. service. Food service. Food service. Cashier. Yes. Cashier food service. It's no. like oriented to food service. I think the same. I for think it's entertainment business too. Mm, yeah, it can be also an entertainment business. Uh, chef, food service, service. Uh, food service. Uh, well, these are already placed. Uh, all right, so musician, 
entertainment business. Entertainment business. Pilot. Travel industry. Travel industry. Travel industry. Receptionist. Office work. Office work. Office work. Singer. Entertainment business. Tour guide. Travel industry. Website designer. Office work. Okay, so, and then, yes? What is the meaning website designer? Es un diseñador de sitios web. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. And server? Eh, server es eh, lo mismo que decir eh, mesero o mesera. Oh. La palabra server okay. la puede utilizar para ambos. Sea dama o caballero, le puede llamar server. Server. La diferencia oh, es que si decimos mesera, en, en, hablando del género femenino, es waitress. 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 Okay. Y para okay. mesero, género masculino, decimos... Waiter. Waiter. Ajá. Waiter. Masculino, waiter. Femenino, waitress. 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 Y si waitress. Se, el, 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 el server se puede usar para ambos. Oh, okay. That is thank the you. difference. Okay, um, you're okay. more than welcome. Now, Very. add two more jobs to each category and then compare with the partner. What you have to do here oh. is to add two more. Yeah. Tienen que agregar dos más a cada categoría okay. y luego comparar con los compañeros. Vea, okay, office work. ¿Qué más agregue al office work? Mm. Mm. I would add accountant as office Manager. Work. Manager. Mm. Mm -hmm. Secretary. Okay, uh, good. Receptionist. Uh, office work receptionist, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Contador. Accountant. 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 Now, what about Business food service? Food service. service. For food uh, service, what yeah. else would you add? Mm. Mm. The chef. I'm sorry. sorry. Chef. Chef. Okay. ¿Cómo, chef. ¿cómo se llama? Eh, ¿Cómo yes, se le dice al yes. que reparte comida en motocicleta? Delivery. Ah, delivery. Delivery guy. Delivery. Delivery guy. Delivery mm -hmm. guy. Uh, a delivery driver. Delivery. Mm. Waiter or wait, waitress. Uh -huh. wait. Have you heard about host? A host. A host. In travel industry. H-O-S-T. A host. ¿Qué es un host? El anfitrión. El, uh -huh, la persona que, the, the, the person who is at the entrance. And they welcome the people and say, welcome to this restaurant. And um, um, and they um, allocate people in a table. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. But the host, it could be also in travel industry uh, when we speak about hotels, right? Oh, uh, yeah. That can be for hotels, for restaurants as well. Yeah. Uh, what else would you nice. add to the travel industry? A pilot. All right, mm. pilot. A uh, tour guide. Mechanic. Mechanic. Yeah, mechanic. 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 Yeah. Mechanic. Um, driver. Uh, A driver. Yes. Very important. Mm -hmm. Now, entertainment business. Actor. Cloud. Actress. No? Actor, actress, clown. Clown. Mm -hmm. Actress. Actor. Uh, I on. think uh, a stunt, a stunt guy. Ah, uh, a stuntman or yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, what is next? Next exercise is uh, speaking about work and workplaces. And this we're going to um, 
Look at the pictures and match the information in column A, B, and C. So you look at the pictures. Oh, so they are different uh, occupations. We have them here. We can practice pronunciation. So let's repeat. A salesperson. A salesperson. A, salesperson. A chef. A chef. A flight attendant. A flight attendant. A carpenter. A, a, carpenter. Carpenter. a receptionist, a, receptionist. A, nurse. a nurse now in column b we have the activities that they perform yeah build houses, Builds houses. houses. cares for patients answers the phone cook food Books, serves passengers, serves passengers, sells clothes. And in column C, we have the workplaces. Let's repeat for an airline. For an airline. In a restaurant. In a restaurant. For a construction company. For a construction company. In a hospital. In a, in, hospital. A hospital. in a department store, in, in a department, department store. store, in an office. In in an office. office. This yeah. exercise consists on matching, well, the um, uh, profession, the activity, and the workplace. And we got a salesperson sells clothes Lots. in a department store. store. In a department store. Uh, that's nice. Okay, I'll give you one minute for you to analyze and try to do the matching. Para los que tienen el material impreso, lo pueden ir haciendo ahí. Y si no, pues solo vamos como dándonos Teacher. una idea de cómo va el matching. Yes? Teacher, eh, esta, ¿cómo hace la pronunciación de esta? Server, service, eh, passenger. ¿Cómo es? Serves passengers. 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 Sir? Passengers. 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 Uh, 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 in, 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 in the hospital. Server passengers. Service. Uh -huh. Sirve. Uh, sirve. Uh, service. Uh, service. Service passengers. Service, service passengers. Serve. Uh, serve serve passenger. passenger. Mm -hmm. it, no es no es service mm -hmm. passenger. Mm, eh, les sirve eh, sirve a los pasajeros. Serves. Eh, la acción de ah, servir, serve. uh -huh. de, de llevarles comida, agua, lo que los pasajeros necesiten. Okay, a volunteer, raise your hand for reading a like we have here the example. So we have a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. I have Marjorie. Mm -hmm. Marjorie, a chef? Serve, uh, pardon, cook, cook food. And in a restaurant. 
Excellent. Thank you so much, Marjorie. Yeah. Uh, somebody else for a flight attendant? Catherine. Oh, okay, I have uh, Martin. A uh, flight attendant service passenger for an airline. Very good. Excellent job. Anna Eriselda, continue with a carpenter. Carpenter, building house for a construction company. Excellent. Company. Excellent. Uh, volunteer for a receptionist. Me. Okay, Sandra. A receptionist, a receptionist answers the phone in an office. Okay, and the last one, a nurse. Me, nurse, cares, cares the department in a hospital. Very nice job, nice. Okay, so video, simple present WH questions and statements. We're going to watch the video. Well, in the previous, in the previous one, we studied the simple present WH questions with the verb B. These ones are with other verbs, except the verb B is a kind of different structure. And we're going to make this as a kind of review. Oh, let me share my screen, but I click on that wrong button. There we go. It's loading on next video. Let me check the audio. Cool. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use Simple Present. Simple Present WH questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, to go, go. Have. have, he, she, works, works. takes, Works. studies, teaches, does, does. goes, goes. Has. Has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you notice the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take, he, she takes. This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and does for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word, plus auxiliary, plus the subject, plus the verb in its base form, plus complement, plus question mark. Now, what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. <coughs> Okay, let me share one more time. That was like a refresher because, well, yeah. um, we have already studied that topic before. So, um, remember this. I include this in the in this section. So, um, vamos a recordar esto. Es un como refresher, verdad? So. Eh, la semana pasada vimos las WH questions with B. En esta mm -hmm. sección tenemos las WH questions with other verbs, con otros verbos que no son 
ser o estar y no es be. Uh, ambas preguntas, las WH questions, eh, son para eh, obtener información, ¿verdad? Eh, siempre inician con una WH word, que pueden ser las que mencionaban, ¿verdad? Las que ya conocemos, who, what, when, eh, how, what time, eh, compound, uh, also compound. So, um, la diferencia es las estructuras en todos los tiempos gramaticales en inglés. En todos existen ambos tipos de preguntas. Las yes no questions y las wh questions. La función es la misma. Lo que va a cambiar es la estructura. Eh, en el simple present la dividimos esta en dos. Igual. Eh, el simple present con el verbo cero estar y con los demás verbos. Entonces, el verbo ser o estar no necesita auxiliar y tampoco otro verbo. Si se fijan acá, él es el verbo ser o estar y no utilizamos auxiliar. Entonces, la estructura de una WH questions con el verbo be es esta. Ponemos primero la WH word, luego el verbo be. Nos referimos a am, is, are, Depende del sujeto que usemos, ¿verdad? Y luego, posteriormente, ponemos el sujeto. Puede que luego exista complemento. A veces sí, a veces no. Dependerá de lo que estemos preguntando. Y al final, el signo de pregunta. Ahora, recordemos que cuando es con otros verbos, que no es cero estar, um, utilizamos el auxiliar. En este caso, nos vamos a enfocar en do. No le hagan caso al did, eso es pasado. Eh, y, igual el was, es pasado. Aquí es eh, la estructura en simple present y abajo está en simple past. Pero es como para que vean que siempre eh, existe la, la diferencia, ¿verdad? No, no se combina el be con otros verbos en esta estructura. WH questions with other verbs. Si estamos utilizando otros verbos, ubicamos primero la WH word. Y después el auxiliar. Para el presente simple, eh, como se mencionaba en el video y como lo hemos visto anteriormente, ¿cuál es el auxiliar del presente simple en preguntas? Do or does. Y do or does. does. Do or do does. does. Usamos do o usamos does dependiendo del sujeto. Si el sujeto es I, you, we o they, usamos Do. do. Si es he, she o it, una tercera persona singular, yes. usamos that. Yes. That. Exacto. Yes. Luego el yes. sujeto y luego el verbo en su forma base, sin estarle agregando nada. Entonces, ¿cuál es la fórmula de las... Eh, de esta que vimos acá en la plataforma, el video que acabamos de ver está enfocado a las WH questions in simple present other with other verbs, con otros verbos. Entonces, lo que mencionábamos anteriormente. Primero, WH word. Luego, el auxiliar plus do o do does. Plus subject. Plus subject, plus a verb. And finally, we add a complement. Right, and then the question mark at the end. Mm -hmm. Following that formula, we have the grammar focus. Okay, aquí tenemos el grammar focus. Aquí podemos ver cómo se sigue la formula. WH word, auxiliary, auxiliary. en este caso, porque el sujeto es you, y you. luego el, bo el verbo en forma simple. Eh, acá tenemos con terceras personas en singular. What does Andrea do? Where does she work? La fórmula se mantiene. What, eh, where, or how? It's WH word. Auxiliary, subject, verb. Sometimes we can add a kind of complement. Mm -hmm. eh, what do we have here? Aquí tenemos oraciones afirmativas como para hacer un reminder. Acuérdense que en oraciones afirmativas, 
cuando estamos haciendo a, afirmaciones en presente simple, había una regla que nos dice que hay que, hay que agregarle eh, algunas veces la letra S, es. otras veces ES al verbo. Es. Eso es solo cuando estamos haciendo afirmativas en tercera persona singular. Como ven aquí, she is, ella es. Entonces, tercera persona eh, singular. Mm. She's a guide. Aquí hay un punto. Aquí hay otra oración que dice She takes people on tours. Esa regla solamente se aplica cuando estamos haciendo oraciones afirmativas en tercera persona singular. Pero cuando hacemos negativas o preguntas, esta regla ya no se aplica. El verbo se deja en su forma simple. ¿Por qué? Porque ya tenemos un auxiliar que es específico para la tercera persona. Ese auxiliar es das. Así es que ya no necesitamos estar trabajando en modificar el verbo porque ya el auxiliar me dice, hey, esta es tercera persona. Así es que tranqui, ya no cambiamos el verbo. Y esa es la función del auxiliar, ayudarnos a definir tiempo y persona en este, en este tiempo gramatical. Y como ven acá, en esta esquina, está, eh, este cartelito hace referencia a los cambios en la tercera persona. Si es persona primera, segunda, singular o plurales, el verbo va en su forma simple. Work, take, study, teach, do, go and have. Eh, pero en tercera persona, cuando hablamos de he, she o it, eh, hay spelling rules. A la mayoría de verbos se les agrega S. Por ejemplo, work cambiaría a works. Take cambiaría a takes. Now, ¿qué pasa con los verbos que terminan en consonante más Y? I, E, S. Ajá. Se, se sustituye la Y y se le agrega I, E, S. E, S. Pero si el verbo antes de la Y tiene una vocal. Mm -mm, no aplica. Solo mm -hmm. le agrego la S. Si sí. es tercera persona. Uh -huh. no, esa es la regla. No, si terminan en CH, SS, ES, ES, e uh -huh. ajá, solo se le agrega la ES. Eh, yes. Si terminan en X, ajá, X, SS, SH, CH, agregamos ES, como aquí vea, teach, termina en CH. Agregamos ES, teaches. Y hay verbos irregulares. Básicamente se dice que si terminan en O, también le agregamos la ES, como es. go y do. Pero have no sigue ninguna regla. Él cambia totalmente. Él se cambia a has para la tercera persona. No, hay, no entra en ninguna regla. No hay una regla que me dice quítele la B pequeña y la E y agréguele S. No. No entra en ninguna regla. Ellos, eh, lo único que se puede hacer con ellos es practicarlos hasta que los memorizamos. And, and that is with the, with the time, with the practice. Por eso les digo, practiquen lo más que puedan. Um, y pues ahí, ahí van a irse los memorizando. Porque, verdad, dada la circunstancia, a veces no tenemos tiempo de estar sentados ahí concentrados memorizando listas de verbos. Lo mejor que pueden hacer es practicar. Practiquen as much as you can. Teacher. Eh, ¿Sí? Este, el material este que está mostrando ahorita lo puede reenviar en el WhatsApp. O alguien lo puede reenviar porque yo no lo tengo. Porque no ¿En sé la en plataforma qué formato está. No, 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 no. En la plataforma sé que está, pero lo quiero imprimir. Ah, en la plataforma lo puede descargar el... el, el folletito, ¿verdad? Esta presentación en PowerPoint que les estoy haciendo, se las mandé al WhatsApp. Eh, ah, okay. Es básicamente lo mismo, solo que a veces le agrego cositas, ¿verdad? Como ah, ok, perfecto. Sí, no la duda, porque es lo que no tenía a la mano, pero ya que ah, me lo dice, que sí, es no, personal, pues entonces lo... no es problema. No, 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 yo se los compartí en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, el, okay. lo, ah pues voy lo, a volver... lo voy a buscar entonces. Ajá, lo voy a buscar porque no, no lo vi. Sí, lo voy a volver a compartir. No creo que esté muy lejos. Sección 2 dice, es el que dice sección 2. 
Ajá, es que por ejemplo la parte donde dice fórmula, esa parte no la vi en la plataforma y está bien interesante. Ajá, por sí, eso, ajá. sí, sí, por eso se los mando al, al grupo. Ahorita voy a ver si lo puedo reenviar. Ahorita lo reenvié. Ya, ok, okay ya, ya. Este. Ajá. Así que okay, sí, gracias, esa, teacher. ahí está. Y no, a usted, hay mucha gente que los imprime y por, porque pues siempre es basado en lo que está en la plataforma, pero a veces le agregamos ejercicios o le agregamos cositas eh, extra. Pero entonces, por eso se los comparto también. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. so, eh, lo que pueden hacer es avanzar, tratar de eh, con este cartelito guiarse. Y completen este ejercicio y mañana lo revisamos. Las respuestas Very están good. en la siguiente slide, pero no me vayan a hacer trampa. Eh, mañana hay clases normales. No, si no, es viernes. No. no, ok, entonces tienen más tiempo, chivísimo, para el lunes. <risa> ok, perfecto. Yes. Ok, so have a wonderful weekend. Okay, thank, thank you, thank the you, same teacher. for you. Thank you. God <laughs> bless you, so teacher. My pleasure. Have a nice weekend. Nice weekend.